Okay, question number six, part C, from C34, June 2018, International A-Level paper. Um, it says f of x equals a times root 5 cosine theta minus 2 sine theta plus b, where theta is an element of the real numbers, and a and b are constants. Given that the range of the function f is between minus 15 um, up to 33 inclusive, find the value of b and the possible values of a. Okay, so now, let's have a look at this one. So... First of all, let's take f of x and rewrite it in terms of what this is equal to. This is equal to uh, 3 times cosine of theta minus 0 0.7297 um, yeah, plus b. Okay, the A is multiplied by this, not by the B. Okay, now, basically what they're telling us is this is the range of f of x. So it's the maximum value of f of x is equal to 33 and the minimum value of f of x is equal to minus 15. Now, when does this reach its maximum value? So here, let, let me just rewrite it. f of x is equal to 3 times a times cosine of theta minus 0 0.7297 plus b. Okay, so this reaches its maximum value when this is equal to 1. Okay, so the maximum okay is when the cosine of whatever theta minus 0 0.7297 is equal to 1 and the minimum is when the same expression cosine of theta minus 0 0.7297 is equal to minus 1 okay so this will be the biggest value when this is equal to 1 and the smallest value when this is equal to minus 1. So what we can do is we can kind of set up an equation here or two equations. We can say that when this is equal to 1 you're going to have 3a plus b is going to be equal to 33. That's the maximum value when this is equal to 1. This whole thing becomes 1 so you have 3a times 1 plus b that's when it's the maximum 33 and we can also say that uh, when this is minus 1, you're going to have minus 3a plus b is going to be, it's the minimum value, which is minus 15. So we have a pair of simultaneous equations, okay, which we can solve. So if we add them together, 1 plus 2, we're going to have this is going to disappear. You'll have 2b is equal to 33 minus 15, which is 18. Let me just make sure of that. I'm a bit tired right now. Minus 15. Yep, 18. So B is equal to 9. So we found what B is. And then the possible values of A. Well, let's just find one of the values of A. When B is 9, then you can say 3A plus 9 is equal to 33. So 3A is equal to 33 minus 9, which is 24. So A is equal to 8. Okay, that's one possible value of A. Um, the possible values of A. Okay, so one possible value of A is 8. Now, how would we find another possible value of A? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this. 3 times 8. Um, okay, so I guess what it is, if um, a is 8, this will be 24 times cosine theta minus, so you're going to have 24. Okay, so you have 24 times cosine theta minus 0 0.7297 plus b. And I guess if you have 
a negative 24 cosine theta minus whatever, it will be the same maximum and minimum values. It's just it's going to be reflected in the x-axis. So you'll have the same in the in the uh, sorry in the y-axis. So you'll end up with the same um, minimum values because the first thing you, first thing that happens is you have the vertic the horizontal shift. So it moves this spaces to the left, and the second thing that happens is you have the reflection. Okay, so then it's reflected. And then the last thing is it's raised by, by 9 units. So the maximum and minimum will be the same whether this is a plus or minus 24. So that means A could be both 8 or it could be minus 8. So those are the, the solutions. Because if you think about the, the curve, all right, it's going to be first, it's going to shift 0 0.7297 radians to the left. Okay, sorry, to the right. And then it's going to be, second thing that happens is um, the multiplication, bid mass. So you follow, in, you always start with what's inside the function. Okay, so we start with this first. And then you follow what's outside the function, you follow bid mass. So the next thing is just multiplied by 24. Okay, so it's then, um, it's, it's vertically stretched by 24 units. And then it's raised by nine spaces. So whether it's... Um, whether it's positive or negative, it won't make any difference to the maximum minimum. That means A could be, so that could be plus 24, minus 24, or give you the same maximum minimum values, but just at different, uh, different um, values of theta. But the same maximum minimum value will be if A is 8 or A is minus 8. So there's the answer to that question.